guys, so it is Sunday. Yesterday was a snow day. It was really he well, the snow wasn't heavy. It was it was just persistent, and couldn't go anywhere yesterday. Um, but on Friday, I did a little bit of shopping and I bought a whole chicken. Now, whole chicken in Jama in uh, Japan is not the same size as a whole chicken in Jamaica. This is half of the chicken. So I. Don't try not to eat too much meat, but there are times when I really, really have a craving for meat. And um, I was just thinking I wanted to make a Sunday dinner this weekend. Um, I don't know why, but I bought a whole chicken. Half of it I cut up the pieces and seasoned them, put them in the freezer. This half, of course, I maintained the wholeness of the half and seasoned it with some jerk seasoning. Now, I think this one is the dry rub jerk seasoning I, I use. Um, let me introduce you to this one. I had to take it out of the original package when I was leaving for Japan, but I kept the, the tag. So it's by a local person in Jamaica, and this is our dry rub. Um, yeah, and of course I have the wet rub, which I put, which I use to season the other chicken. So this is the what the wet rub looks like, and yeah. So I'm going to, so it's pre-seasoned, I've seasoned it yesterday afternoon, kept it in the fridge. I'm going to bake that, I'm going to cook some rice and peas, I got some coconut milk from Gilm supermarket, and some kidney beans from the regular supermarket. Gilm usually has some international stuff, they have bulkier things, I think they, they cater to restaurants or businesses or something like that. Alright, so the first thing, so I have the rice already pre-washed. I mean, I washed it. I don't, I don't do the pre-wash thing. They tell me don't wash the rice. I'm washing the rice. I don't know what you did with the rice or to the rice. Okay, so what should I do first? Um, all right, let me just kind of go with the flow. Okay, let's do the chicken afterwards. I'm going to put the um, the coconut milk. I have some onion. I have no green green onions, no scallion. I have some garlic and I have one last piece of this um, habanero, jalapeno. I don't have any hot peppers. Wow, it's finished. I have ginger, you know what? Ginger and um, sugar. What's this? Uh, ginger and sugar. Okay, right. I'm gonna pause this because this is gonna be a lot of moving around. And when I'm a little bit more organized, um, you'll join me. Okay, we're back. So what's next? Right, so I turned on the stove. I have some of the coconut milk with the kidney beans in this container, the measuring cup. I'm gonna add that liquid, I'm gonna add, oh! Okay, that's messy. That's messy. Add some more liquid. I think I should add some more coconut milk. Too late. Okay. Alright. Just add a little bit more coconut milk. It's not a lot, and I want to cook some curry. Uh, you know what? Never mind. It's done. It's done. I don't know if I'll put all of it in. Let's see how much liquid I have in. Yeah, I can't add too much because I eyeball everything. There should be enough liquid. The rice cooks really quickly. Um, so let me just wipe that off. That's annoying. Sorry, okay. I want to show you guys something. So at one of my schools, they harvested or reaped some, um, oh, what do we call it again in Jamaica? Cocoa. So we call in Jamaica we call it cocoa. Uh, I think it's taro. Right. Got that? Mm -hmm. I think it's taro. So here, let me show you. Now I usually don't eat these. We put them in soup and then they just kind of just disappear because they, they, they get overcooked. I'm going to, I don't have any potatoes, I love Irish potatoes, I didn't buy any. So I'm going to roast these or um, with the chicken and I'm going to chop up some onions, the chunky onions and some garlic, put that in the oven. 
But in the meantime, let's add some salt, garlic, nutmeg, paprika, black pepper, what's that? That's salt. And um, I want to add some, a little bit of sugar. Let me have sugar. sugar. A little bit of sugar to my rice and peas. Now, some people put sugar in theirs. I put sugar in mine. And I like ginger. No, So I'm watching my guy, uh, Sunday, my girl. <laughs> my girl. I really love her content. Sunday Love, before I came back to Japan, I was like almost binging on her stuff to just kind of and see what's going on in Japan and you know for also for melanated persons and there's a few people I follow there's a Jamaican girl um, she's with interest she talks about her life and stuff you know very simple videos and so forth but I like watching them I like um, whenever I'm gonna travel I like watching videos on places I plan to travel to and I do usually watch them on YouTube all right okay I'm gonna have to put some more salt I know um, that was not enough. So I use one of my, one of the old onions I have. I'm just gonna rough chop this, you know. Oh, wrong side, wrong side. Okay, it's already been washed. I've used this so many times. Right, so just gonna rough chop this and put it in. I don't want the bark or the pork part of it. So, and then. Just put a little piece of this. It's it's hot, but it's not that hot. Yeah. And um, I don't have a rice cooker yet. I sold my rice cooker in Jamaica because I couldn't take it with me. I'm like, why would I take my rice cooker? I mean, like, it was more than five years old. Why don't I just get a new rice cooker when I come? You know, the modern rice cooker. So I sold it. And I haven't been able to replace it yet. So that's the plan. Let's just... Um, Good. Uh, some chunks of garlic. I'm not even going to chop them up. Just gonna throw them in like this. I don't have a small knife. I don't know how I'm gonna cut up those little um, peel and cut up those cocos. Taro, taro. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna have to do it. This knife is sharp. Not very sharp, but it's sharp enough because I've been nicked by it several times. Okay, just get those little barky parts off. Rough chop, rough cut, whatever. Throw, oh, throw this in. And I think that's it. All right, sugar, all right, sugar, and a little bit more salt, a lot more salt actually. This is sea salt. Um, I usually try my hardest to find or to use sea salt. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the rest of the coconut milk to make um I probably should have put some more of the beans. It's not a lot. Yeah it's gonna look like really unimpressive. Okay So I'm going to put some more of the beans in there. I don't want to put all of this because I feel like I want to use it. Uh, I might want to use it, some of it next time. It's not that expensive, actually. There are two tins, two types at the supermarket. One was really cheap, like um, under 100 yen, I think. And this one was under 200 yen. So I picked up, of course, the cheaper one. I'm like, okay, this looks cheaper. Why? I mean, I, as usual, I like to look for the expiry date of things, and I couldn't find the expiry date on the other one. I was like, why can't I find the expiry date? And I looked at the other cans, same thing, no expiry date. I'm like, no, this, they're being sold cheap, 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 like, like you know, it's like on sale. Nah. So I put back the cheapest, cheaper one, the cheapest one, because I think they were probably two others. And I bought this one, which is 100 and something, with the expiry date on it. Okay, so just for now, I'm just gonna rest this in, rest this in the fridge. Okay, what we got doing, doing next, right, the chicken. 
So let's get the chicken in a container. And all I've got is this. All right. Okay, so what are you, I hope you guys can see. I'm using my foot to open it up. We don't want to I don't have a, you know, a lever. A foot pedal. I hope you're hearing me. I really hope you're hearing me. All right. So, what's next? Chicken. You see how quick this is? shaker from Daiso. So you can imagine of the quality of it. And um, but it's, you know, it still does the, what it needs to do. Right, so chicken. What do I need to cut up? The onions and stuff. Alright, let's cut the onions and uh, deal with the chicken. Yeah, this is dangerous. You see this? Asking for it, right? Half an onion. Yeah. So let us just rough chop this. Put it in with the chicken. I'm gonna rough chop the um, what's it called again? Cho cho, coco. Chai, 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 taro. Okay, rough chop. Put anything? Okay. Let's put it in here. What I should do is put the chicken in. All right, so let's put the chicken in. No, oh, wow, it's boiling already. Look at that. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. skin on the bottom but if I put the if I put it face up you know because it also has the breast it's going to be it's going to dry out because I'm using a microwave oven and there's not much difference between the container and the meat so I'm going to have to use foil to cover it so it doesn't it's not too close to the source of heat it's going to burn really quickly uh, so I have to be very careful with that. Okay, let me wash my hands and then continue with the onion. sugar and the, I said ginger in the rice, right? All right. Put some more onions. I don't know how this is going to work. I hope it works. Um, and the taro. See if I can peel it. I mean, I can peel it. It's going to be really, really tedious, you know, peeling it. But, I mean, this is like really fresh, I mean, it's just, how many days, I don't know how many days old, but I should have bought two bags, I really should have. I'm not a, I don't really eat this thing, like, I don't even know what it tastes like on its own, I should try it, I should. But, um, yeah, okay, this is going to take a while, so let's, let's come back. Okay, so welcome back. So I have finished cutting them, peeling them. I'm gonna just slice them up a little bit and um, put them in the oven, add a little oil, oil, oil. All right, so let's just cut them. 
I know they're not going to take that long to cook. They won't. I feel like I should have put in more, but. this up. I'm going to put them in the, in the oven and um, eat them for about an hour. And I'll just watch it. Check. What about an hour? Japanese chicken probably won't take that long to cook. Pretty sure they murdered a small chicken, a young chicken. So, yeah. yeah. I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian. I kind of want to be. Um, I don't like big industry farming. I, I'm not against people eating meat. You can eat meat if you want. Um, I think for me, they, they, it's a big industry because I think, I don't watch these videos because I don't have the stomach watching them, but I think in a big industry where they have like hundreds of you know, animals that are going to be slaughtered, um, I think there's also abuse that happens and oversight of their health and well-being. Um, so if you're going to eat meat, I, it would be nice if the animals are treated well, you know. I know it's a controversial topic, I'm not trying to get into that, but um, but I eat meat, so I know this chicken was not taken from a smaller farm, so maybe I'm a hypocrite. But. Yeah, so let's put this in. We'll put these in. Drizzle some oil. And um, so if there's anybody actually, if there's anyone here who um, you know liked meat and became a vegetarian or vegan, uh, how long was your transition? Type of that type of little message or something. Um, oh, do you know? I haven't cut up any garlic. We've got to put some garlic in this. Of course, garlic must be in it. Oh, let's look at the chicken, the rice. I may have to add water. Yes. Let's add, maybe we can add the coconut milk. <laughs> let's add some more coconut milk. I am worried that it might, you know. I miss the rice cooker. Maybe that's too much. Love the rice. Okay, we're almost, almost there, almost there. Almost there, that's finished. these up a little bit, just kind of do a rough chop, and then put them in there, drizzle the oil, and um, stick it in the oven, and that'll be it. Okay. I'm not, really, I'm not mixing it, I just want to do a rough chop. or something on the property near my apartment. Okay, that's it. Turn me on this some more. So I guess no, the sugar didn't go into the rice, so. Nor did the ginger, so it'll be fine. The good thing is that I'm cooking for myself. Drizzle some oil. Alright. That 
should be it. And you put the, just sprinkle some salt on the veggies. And um, I'm stick this in the oven, and I have to cover it up with foil so it doesn't burn. Oven, oven, oven. Alright, let's do that. I'll take a break, and then when we come back, I'll have to start another video. Twenty minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna stop. This is the oven. I'm going to put it in about 190 or 180 and um, 190 and let it cook for about an hour. Okay. See you later. Okay. So just realized that that may have been very noisy and I'm not quite sure if you could hear me at all when I was talking earlier. I hope you could. So the chicken is now in the oven. It has 52 minutes left to cook. Um, about maybe 10 or 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes before I'm, I plan to take it out. I'm going to take the foil off, maybe 20 minutes before, I don't know, um, so that it can get some color. But for now, just to make sure it doesn't get burnt, I am just going to, you know, uh, let it cook, let it bake covered. Because um, the first um, two sets of cakes that I baked, about a month ago, I didn't cover them up and um, they got brown really quickly um, on the top. They were fine, you know, the cakes, they weren't burned, they, they baked fine, but they got really brown really, they got brown real quickly and um, that was a little disconcerting for me. I found something I didn't think I'd like. It's been around for a while, I just never bothered to eat it. Mr. Donut Donuts. I I went in there just to, just you know I'm like you know let me give it a try I'm trying I'm trying things that I didn't try before when I was in Japan I don't like sweet things and I kind of stick to that routine I still don't like milk milk chocolate I don't like it I have tasted it even about a month ago I did taste a milk chocolate I was like I got it from someone or something and um. I tasted it. I was like, nope, I threw it in the garbage. I don't like it. But I like bitter chocolate. I like cacao or cocoa. And um, so I'd always, and I always said I never liked um, donuts. I mean, I I ate donuts. I've eaten donuts, but I just kind of avoided them because I just I have to see it. I don't want it. <laughs> well, I um. I went into Mr. Donuts and they looked good. They're, they're, they are look, good looking donuts. And I just picked out a few, went home, ate one, tasted one, then ate it, then ate two that night. By the next day, they were all finished. I think I bought about four. Then I went and I got another box, this time six. That was on Friday. Was it Friday? No, that, yeah, that was Friday. Um, I guess it's pretty good. I mean, Friday, today's Sunday, and I only have one left. I had one for breakfast. I'm going to have this as a, you know, I've been working so hard. I think I should have this one. And it's not finished. All the donuts are gone. So what I'm saying is, wow, I like Mr. Donut Donuts. They don't taste like the donuts I'm used to in Jamaica. They don't taste like that donut I had that was from an American brand. That tasted horrid. It's a well-known brand that now it's in Jamaica. Somebody bought it. I tried it and I was like, this is disgusting. It was super sweet and I don't like sweet. 
was super sweet. And um, the, 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 I, I don't know if they fried it in some rancid oil. It was just horrible. This is good, Mr. Donuts. Donuts. So I'm gonna have to break this box down for the garbage. Okay, let me see how it's doing because I think it, um, it, it really cooked a little too fast. But let me see. Can you see what it looks like? Let me just tilt it a little bit there. I don't like, um, what do you call it, flaky rice. I actually prefer, my, a relative of mine used to call it lovable rice and stick together. Mmm. Okay. It's cooked. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I wonder if I should turn it off. Mm. Yeah, I think we can turn it off. Wow. Okay, so turn that off. It'll finish up. We got 48 minutes for the chicken. I'm going to stop this video, record a new one once the chicken is out. Um, so it's, you can see what it looks like. And I'll plate it and I'll have dinner. Oh, I don't want to have dinner too early. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Cooking in Japan, Jamaica dinner, Jamaican Sunday dinner. See you later.